My Archman, Shot of Nintendo here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the previous video, we got the spinner, and we also got the boss key for the Arbiter's Grounds, and we're gonna go in and fight the boss. dense place in here. Maybe he'll be nice and just, you know, give us the heart. He seems to already be dead. Alright, let's just go loot the heart. So as you guys saw, that was a pretty tough boss battle, but you know. Um, where's the heart? <gasps> Bob Bob Zant! You still live, Ellipsis. I was sad. Alright, you really can't breathe that. Is this true? Can you, can you let me read? I fear that this is the last time I will see you alive. I can't put the... I can't exactly put like the whole Darth Vader voice on you if you do that. <gasps> I love that sword. That sword looks so damn cool. You're just going to lodge it in his head, aren't you? Yeah. It's going to... Yeah. A perfectly good sword gone to waste right there. Can I have that sword? That looks like the sword from Darksiders. Oh well. There he goes. Um, you left your sword, dude. Oh, that's... Oh. No. Don't be like that. You don't have to be like that. You don't, you don't, you can just keep... Well, you don't exactly have a heart. I'm a fire And I forgot to read his name. Aren't I amazing? Okay, here's what you want to do for this boss. Well, that was weird. Am I? Am I? Am I inside the? You guys saw that, right? All right, never mind. You want to go down here, avoiding these uh, undead army of his, and avoiding his hand, hopefully as well. You know, I, I realized in the last video as well, I forgot to do the whole kind of music appreciation thing that I said I was going to do. Come up here and just... Did, did, did I just... I, I missed that, didn't I? I can't go on... I can't go on to the spinner here. Ain't that fantastic. Wait for that... Yeah, wait for that thing to pass by first. Alright. Go. And... Get it. Get, get. Come on! No, I, that always happens. That always happens. Is anyone else that, that unlucky? Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go, finally. I managed to knock down two with one stone. I'm pretty sure that's just the standard, though. Oh, my spine! Why would you do such a thing? Oh, oh, ooh, yes! Made it in for the second one. Okay. That's good, that's good. We're almost done with the first phase. I just spoiled a crap ton right there, you know that guy's, you know, I'm just a terrible, terrible, terrible person. Whoa. Oh, you be breathing that on me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay off the rails as much as possible because I don't like, can, can you guys bounce me back? Don't hit that, yes, okay, there we go. Oh, oh. no, come on. I'm pretty sure there's more from now, is there? Yeah, there is. Ugh. Huh, come on. I can totally get it. Dang it. Go. No. Ah. Come on. Swerve it in there. Get. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Will you stop it? Go! All, all of the things in my way. Oh, okay, that was close. Can't bounce the, oh, it's like Pong! I'm <laughs> not Pong, sorry, it's like a pinball machine. 
Okay, I gotta take care of, you know, more of these guys to get them out of my way. Oh my god, how did that thing not hit me? Got it! Yes, there we go. Oh, and we beat the boss. But we actually didn't because I already spoiled that. Oh, I do remember the first time, though, I fought this boss. I mean, like, when I found out that that was, like, that was it. I mean, at least, you know, they kept it, you know, in the consistency that you use the dungeon item to beat him. This Wii remote vibrates way too much. Ah, oh, yes, I know what we must do. We must pump and pump and pump and pump and pump. And move those abs up and down, up and down. I don't have to do it anymore. That was disappointing, guys. You know how much I love pumping those abs. Well, not abs. Well, they're ties, actually. Sorry. You guys probably even hear that. <laughs> the Wii Remote was vibrating like crazy. Now where's my magical bridge of wonder? Oh, hey. You can't be a floating head. You're not a Metroid. You're not a Metroid. You're... What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, you... Okay. Alright. Here we go. This is... Uh, the second phase, I guess. This phase is a little bit harder. Because, um... Not really. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta spin around this thing fast enough until you catch up with the flying rotating head. There's the flying rotating head. He'll shoot that thing. You go over here. He'll shoot another one. You go over here. And another one. Wait until you uh, get close enough that you can bash into his head. And then you get the music that cues you for finally hitting the guy. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get quite a lot of stabs off in him, like, right now. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Is that right in the thing and look at him go. How is he floating? Oh, yes. And then we actually get those, like, little spiking spinner guys are going to be there to cause some trouble. So I, every time it's just the same thing, you just gotta, you know, you gotta shoot. Oh no. Yeah, okay. You have to you have to reset it every single time if that happens. Oh whoa, where'd he come from? He just kinda he just kind of appeared. I gotta go back to that point in the video. That's about that's about eight minutes in or so, isn't it? Seven something. I don't know. Give or take a couple of seconds. And I, yeah, I know for a fact that when you like if you hit into them that doesn't actually kill them. There's, there's like two of them matched together. Huh. Wait, that that song... This whole boss battle music almost sound, it sounds a bit, you know, familiar, but not in the, not in the sense that I've seen it in, the, in Twilight Princess before, but... It, it sounds so familiar, I, I, I don't know where else I've heard it from. Wait, that's it? Wait, no, 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 no. It usually takes at least three of those. I mean, that's like the golden rule. You gotta hit the boss three times. Okay, that has to be the clutziest, clutziest fall ever. And somehow we're at the top. Oh, wouldn't it be like, wouldn't it be so funny if that like, hit you? Oh, man. But that's it, guys. That's the boss. We have finally finished the Arbiter Grounds. And now we can go uh, reap our rewards. Alright, so we're actually clo close to the Mirror of Twilight. Just let me get my piece of. I meant not, my fart container! I got my fart container, yay. Yes, I would love to save. It'd be fantastic. Save right there. Yes, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> My stomach was growling. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's take a look here. It's been quite a while since I've uh, been to this point in the game. In fact, if I remember correctly, I always thought I had to go left because I know I was watching Nintendo Capri Sun. I'm pretty sure he played the GameCube version of this. I can't remember for certain. Now, I know for absolute certain that everything is not going to be fine here. 
If you get that reference, you know, well done, I guess. But we do have, yep, Twilight Beasts. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, if they're called something else, let me know. One, two, three, four, five, get pooped right out of the sky. Yeah, we can kill three of them right there. And we've got to get this guy and grab him. Hey, right, grab you. Come on, come together. Right now. Over me. No! Oh, come on! Actually, you know, you're all like right here now. So, uh, let's, have a, let's, uh, let's have a party. I missed one again, didn't I? Oh no, I got them all! Yeah! Ha ha ha! Suck on those ones. Oh, we get a cutscene now, don't we? No, we don't. No, we don't, actually. Sorry. We got a cutscene in just two seconds. Alright, here we go. Spinning right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right around to the top. And pump it, pump, and move, and push those. Aw, I didn't get to finish it that time. going on those chains are pretty sturdy and it's pulling out the world's fattest dump With the mirror of twilight awesome we finally did it guys we beat the game I could have recorded these two parts so much sooner but there you go guys something looks a bit weird about that mirror though Uh, you see what I see, Midna? Ah, do a twirl and... Oh! Bum, bum, bum! We just can't get a break, can we? Oh, well, hello. Who be you? A dark entity lurks in the twilight. It houses an evil power. You who are guided by fate. You who possess the crest of the goddess. Hear us. At the command of the goddess, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient time. It's always ancient times. You seek it, but the mirror of Twilight has been fragmented by mighty magic. Okay. That ma that magic is a dark power that he possesses. His name is Gadendorf. He was the leader of a band of thieves who invaded Hyrule in the hope of establishing- Ah, oh, come on, again! He was known for- he was known as a demon thief in the Hebrew magic creator for known her. You know what, guys? That's just where- that's just where the echo stops. When they don't let me control how fast I read. But he was blind. Ah, oh, that must have sucked. In all of his fury and might. He was blind to any danger. Ugh, really? That was a bit too fast. Come on. Any normal person could not have read that. gave him that. Come on, guys. Whoa. 
divine prank. Uh oh. Falcon punch. Oh, he totally falcon punched him. Haha, <laughs> mine now. Only the mirror. Show us our awesome reflections. You know, I love how Ganondorf is just like sitting there. Doing nothing. At all. He was just standing there while I all just raised their hands. Raise your hands up high like you just don't care. And get sucked in the toilet. Into the toilet. Oh no. And all that was left was his face and his incredibly similar beard. Not the incredibly similar beard. Oh, and he cracked his little thing just to boot. His abiding hatred and lust for power turned into pure malice. Into the purest malice, okay. God, words I don't know. Perhaps that evil power has been passed on to Zant. You're just now figuring out where Zant got his power? It's far too late. Only the true leader of Twilight can utterly destroy the Mirror of Twilight, so Zant could, could merely break it into pieces. Once broken by magic, the Mirror of Twilight became fragments, which even now lie hidden across the land of Hyrule. Of course. One is in the snowy mountain heights. Then why don't you get it? One is in the ancient grove. And one is in the heavens. Oh, really? You who have been sent by the goddess, you should be able to gather the tree pieces. Of course, you know. It's all I'm good for. But you must be prepared for the dangerous power. For a dangerous power resides in these fragments. Of course. It's just like, it's just like the bloody things we already collected. The fused shadows. It's the same story. Anyways, um, heck, what do I do now? I'm pretty sure I got a warp. Um, are there any, you know, dogs around that, like, e I don't know if there's any, like, you know, I should probably go back there, actually, and do that pretty soon. I don't know, I don't know if I already did that, the whole kind of lifting up the Bridge of Elden thing. No, actually, I didn't, because I would have got the warp point otherwise. I should go back and do that at some point. Uh, for the meantime, I'm gonna make my way to Hyrule Castle Town, yes. Because I need to go here in order to progress further with the story. The next place we have to head to is, um, Snow Peak Mountain. I think that's the name of it. But that place is definitely my favorite, uh, dungeon, or even temple, uh, in this game. Next to, obviously, uh, the one in the sky. Anyways, let's transform ourselves into a human. We gotta head over to Tetra's, not Tetra, Telma's bar. Gee, Tetra's bar. Yeah, a little girl is gonna be running up. Hey, wait, Mr. Shot. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Shaw, and I've come to deliver a letter. A letter from Baroness. I called them Barons one time. Well, this is this concluded onward to mail. One, two, one, two, one, two. Work those abs. I mean, work those ties even, sorry. <laughs> Abs and ties are not the same thing, John. <gasps> Rare item in stock. How have you been? Still a bomb still a bomb enthusiast? Still loving bombs? Well, you're in for a treat. Well, I've got some interesting bombs in. Uh so come on by and pick some up. Wait until wait till wait till you see these baby see so below what these babies you know guys, you can probably very well tell that I am not the best reader. It has been probably very well established in the times of me playing this game. I just... I can't read. Well, I can read. Just not very well. Gotta read more books, actually. I got the heart piece from her, didn't I? Or him, even, sorry. Your prayers have reached the skies above. Take good care of your body, for it was provided to you by forces you cannot comprehend. 
Uh, some kind of innuendo could be taken from that. <laughs> Any who's it? Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video pretty soon here, guys. I just want to head over to uh, Telma's bar and show the next objective. Because this video has been going on for 20 minutes now. And I know no one's attention span can uh, go for 20 minutes. Well, you can. You just don't want to. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's down here. Fat guard. <laughs> I saw a fat policeman around here before in Ireland, and it's it, I find it I find it funny just because you know if a guy comes up and you know tries to break into a car, that guy isn't going to be able to chase him down. Not a hope. Hey, tell me how's it going? Boobs as big as always. Uh, how's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that Shaman will find a way to get her mummy back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyways, honey, you've got your own thing to worry about. So you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Now, I'm not doubting you, honey. But if you're wondering what you ought to be doing, you ought to go and talk to your friend Ash... Ashy? Ashy? Is that right? She's up in Hyrule's Northern Mountain. Oh, yeah. Uh, you need detailed directions to take the map. Yeah, so the, basically... Yeah, the person we're going to be, you know, going to see next is all the way over in Lake Hylia. Uh, yeah, she's in the Snow Peak Mountain. So that's where we're going to be heading next. So I want to thank you guys for watching this part of... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, it's the mailman. What to order? What to order? I do believe I will start with meat. Funny thing is, he, he pretty much spends the rest of the entire game over there deciding what he's going to order. Ah, uh, he's fast for mail, but he's not fast for food. Anyways, thanks for watching this uh, episode, guys. And we will see you in the next one. So, bye-bye for now.